May I call in a favor? Um, do I owe you a favor? Yeah, I'm reasonably sure, yeah. Who's playing Scrooge? We'll find out before the interview, apparently. It's the last minute. Who the fuck knows? Yes, I filled in for you at the Beat Poetry Night in uh, March. I helped with your acceptance speech in April. You told me I wasn't going to win. Did you win? No. So I saved you time. We're even. No, the Lorraine show in May. I did all the legwork because you were all jet lagged. Graham Norton, June. I did the legwork when you were hungover. Post signing at Comic Con in it, July. It, 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 August. Book signing at Foils. No, I was there for that one. No, you um, sprained your wrist playing ping pong. I signed for both of us. We are not even. We are even. No. No, September, your charity auction thing. I donated lunch with David Tennant. That was for the homeless. Favour's a favour. You enjoyed it. The winner took me to a little chef in Milton Keynes, where she stuffed her face whilst reading out loud her pornographic fan fiction entitled Just What the Doctor Ordered, spraying me with chicken goujons and fucking Fanta. You enjoyed it. This party. Uh, for Georgia? Yeah. It's a wee bit difficult to arrange trapped in a hotel room in Tokyo on the other side of the world. So I just, I need a little bit of help with the finishing touches. Well, what's still to do? The food. And the drink. And the music and the guests. Have you sorted anything? The venue, yes. I just need someone to check it. What, an ad? What, no, 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 no. I can't drive to London. It's on your side of London. What? Do it over the phone! No, I can't. Why not? It might smell. I'm sorry, for a moment there, I thought you said it might it's, smell. Yeah, there's a review on TripAdvisor says something about the drains that it smell of battery chickens. <laughs> battery chickens? So can you please go and check? <sighs> when? Today? What the, no, 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 we're going to a Christmas market. This is more important. TV's Rob Brydon may be making waffles. TV's Rob Brydon can shove his waffles up his arse. I mean, that's blasphemy. Come on, George has always wanted to go. I will lose the booking if it is not confirmed today. I need to check it before I can confirm it. In case it smells of chickens. In case it smells of chickens. What's the restaurant called? Dolos. D-O-L-O-S, on Massey Street. And the booking's under your name? Yeah. And you check that they can fit 50 and do food. Maybe ask about cocktails and karaoke and a cake. Cake with a name on it. I want it to be classy. Hence the karaoke. Oh, and do not tell Georgia that you're helping me with this. Please, don't tell anyone. I won't. Promise me. I promise. I don't want her thinking I'm inept. Perish the thought. David, Michael. Oh, hello. Hello. I wasn't expecting you. So I'm going to chat. Uh, well, I'm just meeting the interviewer here just to check the link before... Actually, it might be best if you to, uh... Oh, right. Oh, fuck off. Just right. half an hour. Who's playing Scrooge? That is a great question. Hi. Oh. Hi. Dominic. Sorry. Simon. Hi, yes. And, of course, this is David Tennant and Michael Sheen. Hello. Lovely to meet you, Dominic. I, All right. I, I'm, I'm a little early. Well, oh, Dominic, we'll leave you to it. Uh, Hoyle Val. See you later. Double. <laughs> very, very good. Very good. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Oh, me too. Who's playing Scrooge? Actually, David and Michael have to head off, don't you? Don't they? Don't you? Okay. All right. Off you go. See you in a bit. Guys, thank you. Thank you for your time. Bye. 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 See you Bye. in a bit. <laughs> so, you got David and Michael back. Yes, well, we have just been looking for the right thing. All these months, something, something fun. But it's a radio play. Well, radio's fun. I didn't realise that the working relationship was back in track. Uh, yes, God, we are, we are just so fond of each other. You said publicly that you thought that the pairing had run its course and become boring. Yes, well, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, actually. I'd rather a put a fire out with my face than work with him again. Was that Michael? David. David, was it? Right. I'd rather watch cheese melt and then ask the melted cheese to direct. That was Michael. Yeah, well, the respect is back now. Who's playing Scrooge? Ah, oh, you. You're good, you are. And just wait half an hour and all your questions will be answered. It's going to be David, Michael, Anna, Georgia, Lucy. And you. And me. And a casting announcement. <laughs> oh, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Fingers crossed. <laughs>
All right. All right. Well, see you Thank then. You, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Lucy, it's me. We are about to speak to Front Row, and I haven't decided who's playing Scrooge yet, David or Michael. Whoever doesn't get it will likely shout at me, and I'd like to avoid Simon? that. Simon? Got to go. Please call me back. Love you. Bye. Simon? I'm here. Okay, hold on one sec. I'm here. Simon? Hi, yes. Who is playing Scrooge? David? Well, how would Michael feel about that? Oh, yeah. oh Michael. <laughs> Actually, I don't, but... Hey. I don't like this plant here. <laughs> Hi. Well, um, what are you doing? I'm hiding keys. Oh, why? Because we're supposed to be taking Lyra to meet Santa. Now Michael is saying that he's driving to London. Is he driving to London? Not without his keys. Mm. Is Michael playing Scrooge? Well, how would David feel about that? <laughs> I mean, come on, he's David. I uh, guess, but what does that mean? Uh, Scrooge. Mm. Is Michael playing him? I assumed it was David. Simon? Mm-hmm. Who's playing him? They need to know who they're playing before the interview. Yeah, sure. How are they both, um... How are they both feeling? What do you mean? Is David having fun in Japan? No. Oh, but it's such a peaceful country. Mm. Well, he wants to come home. Uh, uh, Michael, does Michael like Christmas? He seems eager to escape. So they're both... both unhappy. Simon, is it David or is it Michael? Neither. Because I've obviously got us a guest star. <laughs> a guest star? Who? I can't say. Why not? He's shy. Shy? But very high profile. Okay, is it like like Hollywood high? At least. Awards? All of them, I think. How old is he? How old Scrooge? Over 60? Well, our guy is 62 next month. Well, will he be joining the interview? Yep. Is that Simon? Yes. Tell him I need to speak to him. He doesn't know where the keys are. Okay, is this real, Simon? <laughs> Would I make it up? <laughs> deciding between David and Michael by telling Anna and Georgia that I have a Hollywood superstar standing by to play Scrooge. But I don't. Simon! Call me back. Love you, bye. Simon! Michael! Hiya! Hi. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, we've never really spoken like this before, have we? Just the... the two of us? Um, no. Well... This is what it's like. <laughs> I don't like it. Are you in London? Yes, for the day. I need a favour. Can you check out a restaurant? A restaurant? It's called Dolos on Almacy Street. Someone online has mentioned chickens. On the menu? Oh, the smell. And the chickens wandering free? So I need you to check and confirm. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you? Um, Anna's hidden my keys. <laughs> Why? Oh, it's a game we play. Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm driving home. When? After the interview. Well, you can go on the way. I can't. It's Christmas. <laughs> Look, Simon, Simon, this is important, OK? It's, it's not just any party, OK? What is it? It's a wake. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Yeah. Who, 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 who's it for? Uh, Vicar. Were you close? Look, I know we've not seen eye to eye, but if you do this for me... You'll be nice to me today. I'll be nice to you... All day. You won't shout at me, no matter what I do. Scouts on it. But deal. Oh, <laughs> great. Thank you. Is Thank there a book you. under your name? <laughs> uh, no, it's under David Tennant. It's another game we play. You're an animal. Just check the space for 50, OK? Who pretends to be there? And food, canapes, I think, and um, cocktails and karaoke. You want cocktails and karaoke? Well, you know, people sing when they drink. At a wake. Well, it depends on whether the keys are going past the U-bend. Oh, 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 and um, don't tell anyone you're helping, OK? And don't even mention the wake. I won't, I won't. Michael needs a favour. In return, he's going to be nice all day. Simon? I can let David play Scrooge and Michael Simon. can't shout at me. All I've got to do is swing past some restaurant in Chiswick after the interview. Are you free after the interview? Why? We need to do a research chat with the guest. No. OK, why not? 
have to check at a restaurant. What for? A children's party. Okay, you don't have any children. No, I'm doing a favour for a friend. Is the friend a child? He has children. So why can't he check it out for himself then? He's at a wake. His vicar died. I'm really sorry, I can't. Okay, look, what is the restaurant called? Dolos. What, the one on Almsey Road? Yes. OK, then, that's super close. I've heard amazing things, by the way. Have you heard anything about chickens? <laughs> chickens? There's rumours of a smell. Right, no. What if I go for you? When? Now. I'll go now, and then you do the research chat. Well, that would be incredible. Um, OK, so, is it just the chicken smell? Uh, no. Uh, can, they, can they fit 50 and do food? Like pizza and soft drinks? Uh, no, canapes and cocktails. For children? For the parents. Right. Um, and is the booking under your name? No, it's under David Tennant. I sometimes use his name to get tables. Okay. Well, stop doing that. Understood. Oh, hi, baby. Hi, baby. You ready? Very nearly. Okay, right. Anything else? Uh, yes, um, a karaoke machine. Okay, great. I'll be back. Thank you. Bye. Me again. Things nearly came unclued, but Georgia saved the day. I just need to step back this guest star before anyone hey, else hears hey. about it, and I am home free. Hello? Hang on, just getting dressed. OK, are you smart or smart cash? Smart kimono. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. We're in Tokyo. <laughs> you would seem to be making less of an effort. Ah, well, the glory of radio is the sartorial freedom it affords. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I auditioned for my first radio play from home, over the phone, and in the nude. Wow. Done it ever since. <laughs> David, Michael, I have made a decision. Oh, OK. David, I would like you to play Scrooge. Really? And I'm pretty sure that Michael will be nice about it. <laughs> um, I respect your decision. But what about the guest star? I, what? Guest star? Yeah, I just had a text from Georgia saying you've got some big Hollywood star to play Scrooge. Hang on. What's, what's, David's not playing Scrooge. You've got a Hollywood guest star? Yeah. Was well, he showing up for the interview? Apparently so. Simon? Simon? Hi, hi, Shimon. Hi. hi. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Hello. Am I still too early? Yeah, I don't worry about it. No, we encourage coming and going, don't worry. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah. I can always go again and come back. No, listen, listen. Apparently, Simon has a bit of a surprise for us. <gasps> a surprise? Are you hinting at a guest star? <laughs> oh, hi, Georgia. Oh, David. Hi. Dominic. You are early. The boys are dropping hints. Ah, well, they shouldn't be doing that. No, they shouldn't be doing that. Uh, can we have a couple more minutes? Is that all right? Yeah, two minutes, not one. Yeah, OK, sure. Cool. Can I just take a minute? Have you been out, G? Yeah, I had an errand to run. Um, I was telling Michael about the text you sent, about the guest star. Michael, is that what you're going to wear? Yes, well, the glory of radio. Anna! I'll get a jacket. He auditions in the nude. Oh, that's an image that's going to haunt me. Take off the kimono. Yep. Sprog, the game is up. I'm confessing everything. Remember me well. Georgia. <laughs> right, OK, all sorted. I need to tell there you are no chickens, about the guest the star. The smell in summer, but not the winter. Well, that's great also, news, but this is really it important. It was for Christmas, which, by the way, is my birthday. So Listen, they can I'm do really terrible pizza to and canapes. The cocktail list is basic, but they can do milkshakes. No karaoke. So I got you a bouncy castle. Bouncy Castle? They partner with this company that does, like, kid stuff, so I got you a bouncy castle, a ball pit and soft play. Well, that's a lot. Yeah, and a magician. Magician? Uh -huh. Chuckles. What if they don't want chuckles? Well, then they should have organised it themselves. Simon? Michael, good news. There are no chickens. <laughs> oh, at the restaurant? <laughs> How do you know? Well, I just called on the phone. Well, I could have called. Yes, but bad news. Mm, no karaoke. But good news. They're throwing in a bouncy castle. A bouncy castle? It'll lighten the mood. No, it won't. Well, then a ball pit will do the trick. A ball pit? And soft play elements. It's a wake. Doesn't mean it has to be gloomy. People will spill their cocktails. No cocktails, only milkshakes. Milkshakes. People love milkshakes. And magic. And magic. Oh, hi, I'll be a magician for the afternoon. My name's Chuckles, and oh, here's my top hat. What's inside? <laughs> it's a little rabbit. What if people don't want chuckles? Well, then they should have sorted it out for themselves. This is in the way. 
Look, I know you didn't want to do another series. I know that, but you've got to feel excited about this. I do. I'm all starstruck with anticipation. I thought about George's party. Are you being original enough? With what? With the entertainment. Well, that's what the karaoke's about. Yeah, but what about a bouncy castle? You know, ball pit, soft play area, milkshakes, and a magician. Mm, I'd feel bad about that. You lack imagination. Just check the smell, confirm the basics, and ask about the cake. The cake. Right, um, oh, can you get a bit more light, babe? Oh, well, it's half past ten at night here. OK, well, then get a lamp. <sighs> and Simon, are you going to hold that plant the whole way through? I thought I might. Anna! Can you chase her, Michael? Yes. Simon. Hello? What? Are you nearly ready? We need a cake. A cake? With a name in icing on it. But it's a wait. Five minutes! I don't think we have five minutes. Can you just check with the restaurant? What name do you want on it? Georgia. Can you help? OK, I think we're ready. Ooh, quite like the suspense. It feels exciting. Does the restaurant do cake? Cake? I forgot about the birthday cake. Um, <laughs> oh, there's a bakery next door. Well, then, don't worry. I'll call Yeah, them. they do fun things with, like, marzipan, naked women and motorbikes and things. Well, I just need Georgia written on it, so... The party's for Georgia? <laughs> That's right. At Dolo's? That's right. On Christmas Day? With a birthday cake. David? Yeah? Why is Simon arranging my party? You know, I'm not. Who are you arranging it for? Michael! Michael? What's Michael got to do with it? What? Simon arranging a party for you. Can we please be a bit more sensitive? Why do we need to be sensitive? Michael didn't want me to mention, but it's not a birthday party, it's a wake. A wake? Who died? Michael's vicar. I didn't know we had a vicar. Yeah. Not anymore. And that her name was Georgia? Michael? Yes. Is Simon arranging a wake for you? Yes. What happened to the vicar? Terrible accident. When? December 3rd. What happened? She was attacked by a reindeer. Oh, OK. How, how old was she? She was 57. And why are you the one arranging it? I was her best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Shut up. Right, where do you know her from? Sunday school. Welsh? Greek. Orthodox? Atheist. Name? Georgia. Surname? Tenant. Right. Balls. David? Did you ask Michael to arrange my birthday party? Yes. Right. Michael, in turn, asked Simon. In confidence. I mean, why not ask a fucking speed? Anna hid my keys. Simon, in turn, asked me. So you sorted your own birthday party? Mm-hmm. With a bouncy castle, pizza bites, and a clown named Chuckles. Well, it sounds like a good party to me. Did it smell a battery chicken? Enough! OK, we will unpack this casserole later. This is total chaos, and for once, Simon is the least to blame. Well, that's really good to hear. Thank you so much for saying that, Georgia. And I'd like you all to remember that impression that you have of me right now, because it might not last too long. This seems like a good time to tell you to confess <laughs> that I might have misled you just a little about our guest star. And... Ciao, Tootsie. Hello, hello. Hi. Shumai, shumai, shumai. Am I finally on time? Absolutely spot on. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Listen, I know that you're all terribly busy. You don't have much time. So why don't I just jump straight in? Sure. A Christmas carol. Yes. A Christmas carol. Mm. First question. Who is playing who? And not just because I heard a whisper earlier, can we expect any high profile guest stars? Simon? 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 Sorry I'm late. Lucy? Lucy? Hi. We weren't expecting you. Well, I wanted to introduce you to your new co star. Co star? Didn't Simon say? Uh, he mentioned something. We've been working <laughs> together here and Simon asked me to reach out to him. Did I? In all those voicemails? In all those voicemails, yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he asked me to ask him if he'd be up for playing Scrooge. And? And, and he said yes. Sure, I mean, the camera issue and the bad Wi-Fi, that was the final... But they had not been happy for a while. Sorry. It's all right. Let's cut there. Uh, oh. It had been a long day and a big scene, a tricky scene. The new people always slow things down. Can't seem to turn the camera on. Yes, well, we'll, we'll fix it. Judy Dench had problems too. Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm not very technically minded. Well, Simon, what are we calling that one? Uh, take 12. How's the light in here? It's fine. But the sun was up when we started. I know. 
Do you want to go back fun. to? Uh, then we'll have to go back to your entrance in the kimono. No, that's like 20 pages. Sorry, it's not your fault. We must be able to cut in a bit later than that. No, because we need it for the pace, don't God, we? put the so. cock and kimono on again. Yeah, if you can. And Michael, you were in a different outfit. The lights were off, I think. Chairs were in a different position. Oh. Anna was off screen. You had a different jacket. Oh, yeah. Georgia, your coat. Was that after I had my coat on? I think so. Does anybody remember whether yes, this was, it was there? on your left? No, right. No, I don't know. I'll oh, just put it there. Oh, David, Doris's iPad's run out of battery. Uh, charges up here. I'll put it outside the door. Go upstairs and get it from Dad. Aren't you in Japan? No, he's upstairs. <laughs> Magic of television. Fucking wish I was in Japan. Sorry again. It's not your fault. Whose fault is it, Simon? Let's just get through this. No, I don't want to. Can we just get through this? We're tired, insane? Simon. I'm sorry. Shut up. Sorry? Whoa, Michael! No, 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 no. I've had enough. Yeah, but don't take it It's out a on... mess. It's a mess, this whole thing. Well, it's a big scene. Yeah, and in pursuit of what? I mean, you wanted to do a third series, Simon. I know. Promised us something new. This is new? No, no, this is a Whitehall farce. What, and you think that's easy? Yeah, I think it's stale. I think it's a, a knock-off Frasier episode. It's been done before, and might I add, by brighter, better, funnier, more original people than you. Yeah, well, you know what? I didn't want to do a third series either. Oh, no? No. Then why are we doing one? David, do you feel... Georgia? Peter? And so they left. With the first two episodes of series three filmed, but the producers and the broadcasters still expecting four more. Sorry. It's not your fault. All right. Yeah, I think so. Do you want to swap? Yeah. yeah. It gets nervous about the height. The chairs are the same height. <laughs> It was near the camera. It's a perspective. Is that better? Yeah. That's much better. What about we? Series three. Yes. Ah, you remember series three? There are a lot of rumours about what went wrong. What's that? I think everyone wants to know what happened. 